One of the most important things to practice and listen for in this etude is that your octaves are in tune. You have a lot of phrases that start and end on the same note, but with an octave difference in between. For example, first note, measure one, and then the last note of measure two, first note of measure three, last note of measure four. So when you're practicing this, it helps to take out the rest of the notes in the middle and just play the important notes So you can hear the connection between the low A flat and the middle A flat. And then do the same thing in measures three, last time to measure four. And because there are all those notes in the middle, between those two octave notes, you want to make sure that to the ear it matches the first note and the last note. Um, another important thing to keep in mind about this etude is that you always want to feel the push and pull between duples and triplets. So you have a lot of this. Where you're going from counting it in one, two, to one, two, three, one, two, three. And you want to make sure that your threes don't get too long and sound like twos, or your twos get too fast and sound like threes. Another good place for this is measure 13, for example, you have triplets and then 16th notes in the next measure. And then a variation on that, As much as possible, connect through the rests because there's rests every other measure and if you just stop the music at those rests, it sounds like you're playing two measures at a time instead of playing a, a larger phrase. Another piccolo specific thing that's important to keep in mind in this etude is the fingering for high G at measure 26. If you use the regular fingering that you would use on flute, it comes out pretty flat. If I use an alternate fingering, so this is first finger, second finger, third finger, pinky, middle finger, ring finger, no pinky on the right hand, and no thumb in the back. That's an alternate fingering for high G. And you can hear the difference. This is a real fingering. It's much sharper with the alternate. So if I play from measure 25, just the first notes, First, I'll do it with the regular fingering and then with the alternate, you'll hear the difference. That alternate fingering is quite high, so you'll want to adjust it down, but the timbre will, will match a little bit more with the alternate fingering.